Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a quartic equation. I'm not exactly sure how to classify this problem because I made different playlists for basic problems and medium level problems and some problems are going to be hard. I'm thinking about this problem was probably a hard level and please let me know what you think. Anyway, so we have this quartic equation that is very, very depressed, okay? So this equation is having a lot of depression, so we kind of need to treat it by solving it. Why did I call it depressed? Because we're missing z to the third power. But not only that, we're also missing z squared, but that's a different story. So now let's go ahead and see how we can solve this quartic equation. There's something called a quartic formula. There's Descartes' method, a couple other methods, I think. Mm. They're kind of complicated, I think, but we're going to use the following approach. Since z cubed is missing, that's a good thing. We're going to try to factor this and hope for equations that are um, integer coefficients. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Start with z to the fourth minus 24z plus 55. And by the way, at this point, if you have any suggestions or if you have any guesses, you can go ahead and do so, but I think it will be hard to guess. So I'm going to assume that this equation can be factored as z squared plus az plus b and z squared minus az plus c. Now, why did I use plus az and minus az? Because I'm missing z cubed. And this is a good way to get rid of it because when you multiply these and those z cubed is going to cancel out automatically and this reduces the number of variables which is nice if you use different variables and set the coefficient of z cubed equal to zero you'll get the same thing but this is faster so let's go ahead and expand everything on the right hand side we're going to rearrange and then set it equal to the left hand side okay ready z squared times z squared is z to the fourth power and then z cubed is going to cancel out. We know that, right? So let's go ahead and find out the coefficient of z squared. From here, these two, I'm getting c z squared. And then from these two, I'm getting negative a squared z squared. And from these two, I'm getting plus b z squared. So we can go ahead and factor it later. Let's go ahead and focus on z. There is a couple of ways to get z. Uh, you got to multiply az by c, so that's going to be acz, or you can multiply b by negative az, which is minus abz. Finally, you need a constant, and that's only going to come from the product of two constants. You can't have a z in there, and that's going to be a bc. Make sense? Okay, great. This is not equal to zero. Well, it is, but more importantly, it's equal to this. So we're going to go ahead and set it equal to that. And when we have more room, it's going to be a little better. Uh, good looking. Now let's go ahead and put these together. Okay. Z to the fourth. I just realized I got to shrink a little bit. Okay. And then uh, how can I write this? I could probably write it as C plus B minus A squared. Z squared. And then plus AC minus AB times Z plus BC. And it's equal to that. Now notice that the coefficient of z to the fourth is 1 on both sides, so it doesn't really help with anything, but at least it's confirmed. And then the coefficient of z squared is 0. So this is 0 for sure. z plus b minus a squared is equal to 0. The coefficient of z is negative 24, which means ac minus ab is negative 24. And the constant is 55, so bc is 55. Make sense? Okay, cool. So we're going to try to solve for ABC. There are three variables and three equations. Hopefully, this is solvable. Let's see what this gives us. We can pull out C plus B from here, A squared. And then here, I can factor out. And by the way, I just want to revert this, uh, kind of reverse this, and write it as A times B minus C equals 24 because I don't like the negativity here. And then I want to do the following. From here, I can isolate b minus c and write it as 24 over a. And then this equation is going to help me c plus b equals a squared. And guess what? I'm going to hold on to this equation and I'm going to add these two equations up. This is a pretty common technique. 
C cancels out, we get 2B or not 2B. I have to say it. A squared plus 24 over A. Let's make a common denominator, A cubed plus 24 over A, but I can put the 2 here and just isolate B. Okay, I got B, and guess what? Similarly, I can get C. I could actually subtract like this, and then C would be the following. To keep a long story short, A cubed minus 24 over 2A. So now I got B and C, and I also have their product. Let's go ahead and put it together and find A value from there, hopefully. A cubed plus 24 times A cubed minus 24. I'm multiplying the numerators, and the denominators will be give me a, for A squared. Remember, I'm multiplying BC, and that's equal to 55. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and multiply A to the 6th power minus. This is a difference of two squares with cubes. Uh, 24 squared is 576, and if you multiply cross multiply that's going to give you 220 a squared now this may look like a hexic equation it's kind of hectic but we can turn it into a cubic because a squared can be called i don't know d t let's call t t is a good one and now we get t cubed minus 220 t equals 220. now what does t represent let's think about it t represents a cubed right so, wait a minute, that's not supposed to be t cubed minus 220a squared equals 576. It's supposed to be 576, right? Okay, great. So, t represents a cubed, right? a squared, I mean, sorry about that. So, if I know, if I can find t from here, this is a cubic equation, by the way, then I could find a from there. So what do you think um, t value is going to be, right? <laughs> That's going to be a good question. And if you kind of look through this, this is going to be a little painful, but let me just tell you, t is going to be 16 from here, which gives us for a values plus minus 4. I'll tell you why we have, uh, because a squared is equal to 16, gives us a equals 4 or a equals negative 4. Why, why do we have two values? Uh, and one of them is only going to work because of the way our equation is factored. So let's go ahead and go back all the way here, a, z plus b. Oh, by the way, after finding a and a, of course we have to find b and c as well. But if you look at it, if a is equal to four, b is a cubed plus 24 over two a, and c is gonna be the minus version. So if a is equal to four, four cubed is gonna be 64. 64 plus 24 is 88. And then 2 times 4 is 8, which is going to give us b equals 11. And if a is equal to negative 4, you're going to get um, negative 64 plus 24 divided by negative 8. And that will be a negative 40 divided by negative 8, which is 5. So if this is the case, then b is 11 and b is 5. And then find the c value, so on and so forth. Make sense? And what is the C value going to be? C value is just going to be the minus version. So it's going to be 64 minus 24 divided by 8. That's going to be 5. And then in this case, I think C is going to be 11. So what happens is they just kind of switch around and eventually gives us the following. So our equation is Z to the fourth minus 24Z plus 55. And now I was able to factor it into z squared plus 4z plus 11 multiplied by z squared minus 4z plus 5. Those are two quadratics which we can easily solve with the quadratic formula. Now what happens if you use a negative value, then the values are going to switch around and you should be getting the same thing. But let's go ahead and solve each of these equations, see what the z values are going to be like. If you solve the first one, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 16, minus 4ac, which is 44, divided by 2, and from here we're going to get the square root of negative 28, which is 2 root 7 plus minus 2 root 7i divided by 2, and that's going to be negative 2 plus minus root 7i, and then the second equation gives us 4 plus minus the square root of 16 minus 20, and that's negative 4, its square root is 2i, 4 plus minus 2i divided by 2, and that's going to be 2 plus minus i. So those are going to be the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video.
Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.